Hello everybody, Charles here with One November Uniform. I'm going to do a series of how I do this is maintenance. And this is in no way considered as a how-to. Maybe you can pick up some tips and some of the things that I'm going to be doing are going to be under the guidance of an AMP or an IA. But in general, it's going to be everything that an owner can do to their airplane and or getting to the tasks to do that owner maintenance. Much like taking off the cowling, lifting the airplane, and items like that. Opening different doors, panels to get to the battery or airing up the tires. The first video that I'm going to do is how to remove the cowling with one person. It will lead up for other items that you can do with cowling off such as an oil change, removing the spark plugs and cleaning them and reinstalling them, and removing an oil filter, reinstalling an oil filter, and safety wiring. Making sure everything else is safety wired and inspecting any of the engine compartment or any other issues that maybe you'll have to have an AMP or an IA look at. Let's get started. And here are the simple tools that you'll need to remove the cowling in your Mooney by yourself. The top and bottom cowling on my Mooney is secured by cam locks. Most of them have a retaining clip on the back so that they can't come out, but a few of mine have those removed so that it adds to the ease of removing the cowlings or reinstalling them. Much like this guy here and on the same side are removable because when I try to put the top cowling, uh, the, uh, the top cowling on the bottom cowling, it always hangs up so it's just a little bit easier to have that one easily removed. And that's where my little foam carrying container comes in place. I've got it drilled out. Um, for all the slots for the cow or the cam locks and the cow. And before I installed these new sky bolts, most of my cam locks didn't have the internal or the back retaining clip, so they were were always falling out. So I came up or made that little caddy to hold them. It will come in handy. The two screws next to the propeller are not cam locks. They are just screws with a washer. And it's the same process on the other side. And like I said, for ease of insulation of the top cowling stuff, I have this cam lock on both sides, still removable because it just hangs up if I don't have that removed. cowling we have to detach the landing light on my airplane it is just two quick disconnects and then the cow flaps need to be opened and then they have another cam quick disconnect now there is the co-pilot side cow flap connecting rod and to detach it from the rod you just lift that quick detach up 
and then pull it away from the stud. And it drops down. And now here is the pilot side. A little bit close up view. And I will just reach in there, lift up, clip, clip, and you pull it out. And it relieves it from that step. And then just let it hang up. My lower cowling is attached by 10 or 11 cam locks. And I just start from this side, work my way underneath, and then over to the other side. Now that I have everything detached, from the engine. You'll see I'll rest the lower half of the cowling by my knee and then I will slide it down and then rock it out away from the propeller. technique on removing my cowling with one person. Again, this is not a how-to video. This is a how-I-do video. Thanks for watching.